Thursday's Roundup from WRCOFM 100.9 in Richland Center, Wisconsin. Sponsored by Added Touch Floral and Gifts, Schmidt Woodland Hills, Pratt Funeral and Cremation Service, and by Bob's Auto Body. On today's Roundup, we'll take a look at world records and a recap of Phil's night off. Were Phil's activities last night worthy of a night off? It's time for the roundup. Hey, Hankster. Good morning, Philip. How you doing? I'm good, buddy. And you? Not too bad. Did you have snow down your way? A little bit. A little Did you? Bit. Yeah, just a little bit. You know, little, little, little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Some some people said they had enough to track a cat. And, really? and one of our predictors said we would only have 22 snowfalls this year. So uh, some places it counts as one because they could track a cat. But we we are down one then because we can't track a cat here. Right. We couldn't track a cat anyway, Phil. Well, probably not. But. So, I mean, it, it could snow 45 times. We still couldn't track a cat. Couldn't track a cat. Well, probably not. You know it. I know it. Maybe a, anyway, a caterpillar everybody's, bulldozer. Everybody's... You know, people are wondering what you did last night to play a John oh. Denver song so early and such a beautiful song to your wife, June. Sure. Can I play a song and just well, everybody, well, the you, fun of it? Yeah, that would be unlike you. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I played it. I'm nothing. We, we had a good you, you, night last night. I understand. But did Joan? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, we were, but I did a little work in here. And then wandering we, minds are wanting to know what you did to make her mad where you had to play that song. Oh, I did a little work in here, and then I went home, and we started watching a movie, and that's the last thing I remember. So, um, Oh, so you fell asleep be, on Might her. be it, yeah. Yeah, that a boy, Phil. That yeah. a boy. Always, always there for him, well, are you? you know, just doing what I could do. So your night off, everybody's, again, wondering, do you deserve the night off last night? Oh, Which, yeah. Oh yeah, sure, absolutely. Did you? Uh, what did you have for supper? Anything good? Um, hamburger. Oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah. What do you have for supper? Spaghettios and meatballs and. Um, no, I had. Um, what did I have? I had pork. Pork. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Kind of like I cut the pork up, threw it in the pan. Right. Yep. Right there. You got to make a cookbook sometime. Hank Bray's cooking yeah. favorites. Yeah. Uh, Hank Bray's not don't follow recipe. Yeah. There's a lot of times you, I just throw stuff like last week. I put, uh, I got some shredded hash browns, threw them in the crock pot. I threw um, a pound of potatoes in with it. And then I can't, or, you know, or I'm sorry, a pound of hamburger. I was going to say, it. more yeah. potatoes. Yeah, more potatoes. <laughs> uh, so hash browns with, and I put potatoes in there. I put uh, cheddar cheese soup. You ever heard of cheddar uh, cheese soup? Oh, sure. Threw that in there. Uh, put sour cream. I put, uh, what else did I put in there? Hmm. Put a little bit of uh, jalapenos, just, you know, chopped up. Out. Not, I like jalapenos taste. I'm not a big, uh, heat, in this does, uh, heat does not bother me, but uh, put some, uh, I like the, the taste. Uh-huh. And it was good? Yeah, it was really good. Hmm. So Doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, it was, just, it was basically a, uh, you know, hamburger helper, homemade hamburger helper thing. Oh, sure. So then sure. I put cheddar cheese in there. Um, the, the, all kind of stuff. So I thought you were going with a hash burger, which I've made those before. Oh, I've never made a hash a burger. Hash browns, and then a hamburger, and some cheese on yeah. top. There you, you can't, go. You can't beat Turbo's hash burger. Right. Well, I, I'm trying to replicate that, but I haven't yeah. done it yet. Uh, you can't replicate no. that. And that's good stuff out there. Right. It feeds you for a week. State football today. And yeah. I, I was thinking back to uh, the late, great Peter Thanis, our okay. f- former owner, um, he and I went to a state football game one time, and I don't even recall who was playing, but I remember it was, uh, I was as cold as I've been in my whole life, and I had like heavy coat, and I think I had a snowmobile suit and insulated boots, and we sat at Camp Randall for a game and a half, and I said, I don't know if I can take any more. And I remember walking across to, uh, at that time, there was a franchise known as Ovens of Brittany in Madison, okay. and got some French onion soup, which is really good with mm-hmm. the bread on top and the cheese on top of that and it was I remember it was the best soup I ever had in my life just because it was so cold and I almost ordered another bowl to dip my toes in because <laughs> I couldn't don't, feel it well don't worry about that because the guy before you dipped his toes yeah in he yours. probably did that's why the soup is so good I guess but nonetheless I thought about that uh, today did uh, Mr. Did, Mathanis buy that day I think he did oh, yeah he did yeah. Uh, Potosi Cassville and Edgar the first game. Yep. And, good luck uh, to Potosi Cassville. Oh, they're a good team. We, oh my goodness. We saw them um, the second game of the year. They played Richland Center, and I said at the time, 
that team will be at state because mm -hmm. I don't know that I've seen a Division Seven team with uh, what, what stuck out to me was the line more so than the skilled players or anybody. I'm just like big fast line right. at a school that size, and I, you know you can go a long ways. Oh, know. without question. And if you have a, a, a decent running back and a decent yep. quarterback that that don't turn the football over, you can win some ball games. Right. So we'll see how they do today yeah. against yeah. Edgar. Yeah. So, but there's a lot of good local football teams that didn't make it. You know, one of them is Highland. Mm -hmm. So eight player, you, they get beat by the state champions by two points. Yep, by Owen Withy. Owen Withy beats uh, Lena on Alaska, or I'm sorry, Lena uh, Aquinas. Okay, uh, by what? What was it? It was three touchdowns. Fifty-two to. 36? Yeah, 52-36. No, uh, 50 to 36. So 50 two to touchdowns. Okay. The game was way out of hand before that. So, um, it, it, Highlands a really, really, was a really, really good football team that, that people, you know. Mm -hmm. And another really good football team around here, if you didn't get to see them, is uh, River Ridge. Mm -hmm. I mean, they took Potosi Cassville to the, uh, I mean, to the fourth quarter. Yeah, they did. So, uh, some good good football around here. And, you know, too bad that all of them can't go to state. That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, and a lot of times they funnel through the same region. Yes, they do. Half-sectional and everything. And look at Potosi Cashville. They played, Warren, you know, Blackhawk Warren. They were number one and number four teams in the state, and they played in the first round. Right. It makes no sense to me. It doesn't add up sometimes. It doesn't. No. So, And Ithaca, they had a good football team. Mm -hmm. I mean, they would... I think it would stroke you. I mean, they would. They would. When I say that, they would hit you. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, they they had a good line too. That oh yeah, and, makes a difference. Yeah, so they had a good running back, good quarterback. I mean, they had a good a good football team. So, so good things. But again, time to move in for poor old radio announcers. Yeah, it is move indoors. We're so, ready. Where are you? Re you're ready. I, well, I, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm waiting on my phone call to go do another state game, so I haven't got it yet. You haven't got it yet? No. no. Okay. It would have to be a last-minute uh, fill-in. Get it? Fill? Mm-hmm. Fill in? Fill in. Fill in. Fill in. Fill in. Hey, did you know David Rush is in the news again, young man? What's he been doing? Him and his wife now are in the news. Uh, an Idaho couple put their laundry skills to the test and broke a GWR record by hanging up 10 items of clothing. This doesn't... In 51.8 seconds. David and Jennifer Rush took the Guinness World Records title for the fastest time to hang up 10 items of clothing, a team of two, which with the with the record to beat standing is 57.87 seconds. David Rush said it took several practice attempts, as well as a few failed official attempts before they were able to shave off a chunk of time and earn the world record. We hugged and we kissed and we collapsed from exhaustion. <laughs> so that wonder, doesn't seem very hard, though, does it? Well, I don't know. It's pretty fast. I wonder how they did it. Like if they each had a clothespin or how they, you know, they worked, I don't know. worked um, together. But 10 items, I mean, I could hang 10 Speedos up in 20 seconds. Uh, yeah. You have that many? I'm not going to I'm not gonna say at this yeah. point. Well, you talk about them every day, so you must. Well, I just want to make sure people know that uh -huh. it's out there. Yeah. Wow. And you started this. I did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. About three or four years ago. An Ontario band took their instruments deep into a mine to break the Guinness World Record for the deepest concert underground. The Miners and Sons played a set 8,086 feet and 11.31 inches below sea level inside the Kid Mine in Timmins to break the record. This mine has spent 68 years taking rock out of that place and then spent one day bringing <laughs> rock back. <laughs> oh, my good. Uh, you know, if if I'm going down there and in caves, I get kind of a little bit freaked out. Really? You know, like they're going to cave mm -hmm. in. So you're in there banging away on your guitars and your drums. I'd be worried something's going to shake loose. Really? And you get trapped in the mine. Mm -hmm. But well, evidently it didn't. So, I mean, the acoustics have to be pretty good. Well, I'm, get, I'm guessing there's a good echo. Yeah, well, yeah. that would be pretty. <laughs> I would even sound good down there, don't you think? Well, maybe. Oh, well. It's a deep subject. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> what else you got? Anything else well, <coughs> of significance there, Hank? Yeah, not really, but plane grounded for four days when 132 hamsters escaped. Yeah, let me read this. <laughs> a plane was grounded for four days at a Portuguese airport when 132 hamsters escaped from boxes in the cargo hole. <laughs> oh, man. 
the Portugal flight from Lisbon uh, Airport um, featured a full up grounded. Um, it was a contingent of passengers as well as, ham- as ham- hamsters and ferrets and birds and rent to a pet store. <laughs> <laughs> so they were running around in the yes. walls and the seats. Yeah, so it says that uh, 132 hamsters were found to escape from in the cargo hold. Officials said the plane was kept at the airport for safety reasons as the hamsters could pose a risk to the plane's electronical wires. Oh, sure. Workers spent four days scouring the plane for loose rodents. <laughs> and it finally returned to uh, uh, Lisbon on this past Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Chewing on some wires. Like oh, my was, goodness. Like some, somebody told me they make the, the coating out of something that the rodents. Really? Like, yeah. I, like, everyone I've tasted had that does yeah, not taste good to didn't me. Didn't taste good. No. no. Couldn't taste peanuts or anything like no, that? Or, no. Okay. Oh. I'm rodent free. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I, yeah. I heard somebody delivered some pens to you, too. You got more pens? Yeah, I got more pens, more felt-tip pens. All right. So, do you have anything else? Not much. I have I have one more. Do you, if you don't have any more, I'm going to... There's a diaper-wearing kangaroo which escaped near a Florida elementary school, and it sparked a search, and the Hernando County Sheriff's Office issued an alert on social media <laughs> telling local residents that a baby kangaroo wearing a diaper and a blue <laughs> harness was on the loose. So they eventually found the baby kangaroo still clad in its diaper, and uh, they were able to capture him. Has Tiny Acres been down there? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Has Jenny been down there? Come on. Uh, again, one of those, uh, you make the call to the authorities, they might think you've been uh, sipping on Grandpa's old coffee. <laughs> yes. <Right. that's>, what? <laughs> the kangaroo welcome, just went by. Well, welcome to the South. Yeah. I got one more for you, buddy. Deer runs through Tennessee gym, Phil. A deer crashed through a a window of a Tennessee gym and ended up spending two hours in a locker room, leaving a smelly surprise behind. Really? Security camera footage of a competitive edge in fitness uh, shows that the buck running across a treadmill after crashing through the gym wall through a window. Mark Johnson, the gym's owner, said the deer ended up in the women's locker room and was removed about two hours later by the Tennessee Wildlife Rescue Agency. He took a big dump in there and didn't even flush, Johnson, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you do? What do you, you know to, what? Wanted to, work, wanted to work out. A flush. Yeah? Just right? flush it. That's <laughs> all you got to do. A deer on a treadmill. That'd be that, that would be kind of neat too. to see. Uh-huh. So I didn't see the footage on it, but... Yeah. But All anyway, right. but I hope you have a great day. And you're where tonight? Uh, River Valley tonight. Good luck tonight. Good yep. luck to them. And good luck to everybody who's playing tonight. So, Kind of hit the ground running with our season. Yes, you are. So yeah. have a good day, my man. You bet, Be buddy. kind.